everyone, it's Alicia with Twisted Tarot, and I'm back for another reading. So, welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be unset messages from the person on your mind. So, if you never got closure, or you just want to know, like they typed out that text, they never sent it, uh, what it would say, this is the reading for you. So, we have three different piles today. Pile number one is this lovely owl. These beautiful stickers were uh, designed by Mixie Sierra, or she she had them for sale. So check her out. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. Uh, she's very creative, an amazing person, awesome, awesome person. So pound number two. If y'all remember Karopi, <laughs> I used to have this stationery when I was a kid. And pile number three is this lovely little, uh, looks like a Hello Kitty witch, so very cute. All right, so if you need to, you can pause the video to make your selection, and I will see you at your pile. All right, so if you chose pile number one, this lovely owl, let's find out what unsent messages do you have from the person on your mind. So welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader. Messages are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, we're going to start with the tarot here. This person feels nervous, so as I'm like doing this shuffling, the <laughs> the tarot cloth is just like, you see it? It's just moving, 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 and I don't have much to stabilize it, but I was like, you know what? This feels like shaky ground. So this person would say they feel like they're on shaky ground with you, or the situation is unbalanced. There's maybe some, like I'm getting like a temperance reverse type of energy, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius dog decided to eat right now so I apologize for the crunching in the background with the judgment reversed oh they made a bad choice didn't they they oh the magician reversed ouch okay queen of wands reversed the king of coins reversed I okay I get it six of coins Knight of Coins. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Okay. So what this person would say is they made some wrong decisions. With the Magician reversed, they could have uh, manifested a connection or gotten into a connection where this person, they were not happy with this person at all. So two different energies here. We have the Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Coins reversed. So both in their lower natures, both low vibing. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, with the Knight of Coins, Moor, Earth, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, this person could have, uh, there could be like a, <laughs> I'm getting there's a secret. I'm getting this secret. With the Magician reverse, the Queen of Wands reverse, the King of Coins, this was maybe a balanced connection, but it wasn't fulfilling, okay? Queen of Wands was someone uh, who possibly didn't feel good about themselves. They were in that there's an insecurity here with looks. Uh, maybe they had they didn't like the way they look, whether it was too you know being too thin, being too big, whatever you know. And, and beauty comes in all forms. I'm not saying that it doesn't. I'm just saying this person may not feel very confident in themselves. Uh, sunflowers could be significant. This is like a huge ego blow. Uh, this person over here with the King of Coins reversed. So this is someone who is ungrounded. They may have, what am I getting, like money trouble or a hard time holding down a job. But this was an equal give and take here with the Six of Coins. So each person was equally giving to the other. So this could have been uh, a person that you were with for six years, six months, uh, Knight of Coins, maybe seven years, seven months. Uh, 
the magician reversed and the judgment reversed. Okay, so this could have been a connection that the divine did not approve of, okay? They said, no, uh-uh, no, because both of you are reversed. You're not happy in this relationship or you weren't happy uh, with this person. So if it's not a love interest that you're asking about here, that is what's coming up. There could be some generational curses or there could have been some dark magic thrown on the connection. This could have been by an outside party to kind of break the connection up. Okay, with the Page of Cups, this is someone that I, maybe you have a child with. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There was love here at one point. There was, uh, and then I feel like what happened is somebody was overgiving six of coins and somebody was taking advantage of this with the knight of coins because we got an unequal, an unequal exchange here. And I feel like this is one person in the connection and this is the other person in the connection. I'm getting that this was not meant to be, okay? And I, I don't say that about many connections here. I really don't. Um, this person, if this is not you in the connection, and this person was with a third party, they want to tell you they are very sorry for that. They should never have tried to give to this energy. This energy was relentlessly giving to them, kept pursuing them for a specific amount of time. Yeah, this could have been six or seven months. This could have been a friend as well, or family. Uh, what they want to tell you is that, uh, okay, if this is an like an ex situation where you are married to this person and you're no longer married to this person, the unsent messages would be, I'm sorry I didn't give enough. I'm sorry I didn't see your value or your worth. And uh, I did. we may have changed over time. Things could have changed over time. Page of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Holy shit. Ten of Swords reversed. All this air. Look at this. Like all the underlying. Look at that. Nine of Coins reversed. This person could have liked to travel. They made the wrong choice. They should have stayed single is what they said because... This, yeah, this could have been someone you were definitely married to. It's the Ten of Cups or family death card. Yeah, it's over. Okay? It's over. It's finito. If you're here and you're wondering about a third party, is this person messing around with this person from the past? Nope. Nope. No. I'm not getting that. And if they did, they met their match with this Page of Swords reversed and this Queen of Swords reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. Yikes. Ouchie, ouchie. This is someone who is going to hurt your feelings. This is someone who you could have had many arguments with. This person could have been mentally unwell. I am not, it's not a judgment here on my channel. It never is. It's just an observation here with the Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. This person could have gone, you know, through a lot of health issues. And they were not financially stable with the nine of coins reversed, or they were not able to provide for themselves on their own. They were accepting assistance from someone else, six of coins, or they were helping someone else, giving their energy, their time. They could have overworked. It's also what I'm getting. This could have been why the connection had to dissolve. We have rows of six here. So six and six is 12. And this is uh, 13, 14. So those could be significant. The death card would be uh, 13 as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. 13 on the death card. This could have been a Scorpio. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Heavy with the air. Holy crap. Because whatever choice they made, it was the wrong one. They would tell you that. They'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. I fucked up. That's what I'm hearing. I fucked up. I made the wrong choice. And guess what? I did it because maybe they did it because maybe their family was involved. Okay, what else? Whew. Strength.
Starting off hot and heavy, huh? So this could have started off very hot and heavy and it quickly turned sour. I am also picking up that there could have been uh, two women involved because we do have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, uh, both of which uh, could there could be children here. This could have been someone that you had children with. I'm hearing shared a life with. But this wasn't real. It was like an illusion. So what they were presenting on the outside was an illusion. They want you to know that. This person could have an anxiety disorder. Yeah, I can't move on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. This person can't move on from you. They still haven't moved on from you. So even if they got with somebody else, even if they're in another situation, look, they're trying to get themselves out of it with the Ten of Swords reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. This could be someone very abusive. Very abusive. This could be someone from your person's past that they want to tell you about that made them feel like they weren't enough. And so when they approach you, they make you, they try to tear you down. So this could be somebody very jealous of you. They're very jealous of like who's giving to you, who you're giving to, why. Weird. Desperate. Really? Uh-huh. I feel it here. This person's full of desperation. I need answers. Talk to me. I'm going mad trying to understand. person's trying to offer you their pentacle. You don't want that. Because look, Queen of Wands, she wants her King of Wands. Or he, right? The counterpart. This person's desperate for your attention. Trust your intuition. So whatever your intuition is telling you, to trust it because Spirit is saying it's on point. Burdens. Been feeling overwhelmed. I have a lot going on in my life right now. This person would like to tell you they're, they're not manifesting exactly what they want and there's been some type of... I'm feeling like a, I'm feeling like a boss figure. So somebody could be really hard on your person's... Uh, hard on your person, okay? And they could care about what other people think because this king of coins, they do. Uh, very much in their ego, very tied to the material world in a toxic form. They could have grown up without a lot of money and this could really have affected them. Or their financial stability is at risk right now and they're just trying to fight through it. This is making them very defensive, snappy, aggressive. I feel like someone's pushing someone else away with the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. That's the Seven of Swords. That's not good energy. That's a sneaky, deceptive betrayal. Somebody sneaking around. I feel like you get a lot of attention. This also drives this person wild. Good for you, pal one. Good for you. You're hot. You're attractive. You're handsome. It's here. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Oh, yeah. This person could have been running for a while. <laughs> it's almost like now the spirit's like, when are you going to give up? Just give up. <laughs> I'm putting myself first right now. Yeah, we can see that. We can see that both of you are. You probably have been like, yeah, so, so am I. I'm putting myself first. I'm more important right now. This person has a lot going on. Things that you may not even know. Things that you're unaware of. People trying to hurt them in all directions with the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. They have to look out for this everywhere because they're wondering, you know, uh, who's going to... 
yeah. Who's going to come at them sideways next? They could have this. I'm getting that there could be some severe arguments with this Five of Swords here. Some things that were said. Some awful things. I can't wait to see you again. Okay. <laughs> Literally, this person, the message they want to send you is they can't wait to see you again. So, do you guys have plans to see each other again? Mm -hmm. Maybe with the Six of Coins and the Knight of Coins, there's plans. I can't help mentioning you to my close friends or family members. So this person talks about you to the people around them. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups here, that's possibly that mentioning of you, about plans with you, making plans with you. Because the Queen of Wands actually is near the King of Coins here, so... Uh, it looks like they're still giving to each other, but the Queen of Swords is on the outside kind of looking in, but still touching this Magician and this Queen of Wands type of energy. I'm getting a gossip with the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords, somebody who's very nefarious. Oh, the fell of the deck. I was about ready to take one more. Did you guys see that? I love you. This person loves you. What they want to tell you, what they didn't tell you, was that they love you. Oh, mm. this is sweet. It's also kind of crazy. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's a lot going on here. Uh, somebody could be mentally unwell, or they could use, like, self-harm tactics, if you know what I'm about to say, and that's all I'll say there, so trigger warning. I said it beforehand. It just came out. Uh, there could be an ex involved here that uh, you guys spent multiple times at the beach. Or you and this person, the reason why you're so connected is because there's ten of cups here. Look at these people. And there's two cups that they're drinking out of. So you could have shared a drink with this person. You could have gone to multiple parties with them. And this is a very beautiful connection. There's a rainbow in the background. So rainbows could have significance. And you could see them. And it reminds me of this, reminds you of this person. This person could be bald. And you could have uh, brown hair. And mermaids are specific to this card. So you could have believe in mermaids, have a past life as, mer as a mermaid. And me, I'm just like, fantastical creatures, yay! <laughs> I'm like, could they be true? Who knows? Are they? I don't know. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> All right. Unsent message. All right, so we have things that are coming together now. 23 alignment. So you're aligning with this person. And they want to tell you that, how much they love you, how they mention you to other people, how they can't wait to see you again. Right now, they could just be putting themselves first, taking the time to kind of really look at some of their decisions from the past. Let's get one more. Holy crap, right on the floor. Beauty. Uh -huh. Everything about you is perfect to me. This person wants you to know that you are perfect to them. You're handsome. You're smart. I'm very loyal. Oh, this person's angry at themselves. They're mad at themselves. Oh my gosh, especially if they chose like their career over you or someone else. Oh my gosh, it did not work. Piss them, piss you royally off. I am getting and them too. They're mad at themselves. They're very angry. And you're probably the, the Queen of Wands here, right? Or this King of Coins. It's super pissed off. I can feel that energy come through. Very defensive. Your person's feeling in a defensive energy. Let's get some more unset messages from them. I was confused. I didn't know what I wanted. Uh, somebody's name could be Angelica or start with an A. Uh, Angela, Angelique, Annika, Anita, Allison. 
Elisa. Andre, Alexis, Alexa, Angel. Oh my gosh, I'm getting Angelica from Little Rascals. Cute. I fantasize about you while I'm in bed with someone else. Gross. I hate this card. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, Nikki, Nicole, Nicholas, Nick. Nadine, Natalie, Natasha, Nat, Nadia, Adam. Lots of A names here. They could have two A's in their name. I'm sorry for ghosting you. Oh. Yeah, this person wants to tell you they're sorry for ghosting you. I've matured so much, let me show you. Oh, okay, Whitney. Somebody could call you Wit for short. Ada, Adelaide. Getting Whitey, somebody could call somebody Whitey or they wear tidy whiteys. William. Will, I'm done with work, can you meet up? Okay, so this person might ask you to meet up and talk about the situation. Uh, they could have uh, finances, share finances with like an ex and they may wanna tell you about this and uh, how, like the decisions that they've made to uh, kind of change and mature. We've got I've matured here with that death card. So they've had to go through maybe a dark night of the soul, some type of transformation. Okay, this says Josefina. So I'm getting Josefina, Jose, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Josie, Joe, Gina. I had to go, we were holding each other back. Mm, okay. So in this connection, you're being held back because look, this Queen of Wands is trying to grow in her own direction. King of Coins needs to grow in his direction. Uh, and these energies at this time are uh, unbalanced and unmatched, which is exactly what I was feeling in the, in the connection. And it's because you guys had separate journeys or separate paths to take. It doesn't mean that you won't come back to each other. There's travel indicated here with this plane. Somebody's name is Valerie, Val, Alex. Oh, Alessandro on the back, on the back of the, on the bottom of the deck, look at this. Alessa, Alicia, Alicia, Alessandra, Alexandra, Alexander. You broke my heart, so I broke yours. What a dick. <laughs> Okay, now we see, mm-hmm, well, ouch. Yeah, this is vengeful. This is somebody who's jealous trying to get back at you for something. I think it's gross, and I'm sorry. So for those of you that you were just curious, like what messages are unsent, you don't give a crap about this person because seem seemed like kind of an asshole. So, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I hate to say this, but I am picking that up on this uh, pile here, so. Let's get a few more messages and some advice and some messages. So this person could have ghosted you. You could have ghosted them. Mary, no one compares to you. Or like, nothing compares to you. Will this pain ever stop? Well, I don't know. Did you do this to yourself? Ugh. So this person, when they broke your, you broke their heart, they broke yours, but now they're just in pain. They're feeling very desperate. They can't move on from you. They're needing to trust their intuition, you need to trust your intuition about the situation with this two of swords and the death card to decide what to do. You could be at a crossroads between two different 
paths in your life currently, maybe, you know, reconciling with this person or going in your own direction. I'm afraid to lose you. Yeah, this person does not want to lose you. They're grasping for you, for your energy. Getting a, like, very much like a person who dug their own hole and now they can all it's like starting to fill up with water and now it's muddy and now they can't get out it could be isolating they could be feeling some depression here as well what's the advice come back to earth it's okay if you need fantasy to survive reality if that's where you need to be just don't get lost in dreams. The real world is waiting for you. Hmm. Okay, so you could be feeling ungrounded. We do get this King of Coins energy of feeling ungrounded, uh, feeling like there was something that you could have done differently, but it's like a shoulda, coulda, woulda, or this person feels like they needed to have done something differently. So if you've been kind of getting lost in a fantasy world, they're saying that's okay, but, you know, for a little while. But, uh, you know, check in with reality. Make sure that it matches because uh, there could be some type of illusions or uh, getting lost in dreams uh, when the world, real world is waiting for you to make this happen, make things happen. So this person may be reaching out to you. It looks like here a lot of you, you're going to be in communication with this person or you're still in communication with them if you would like. This person is going through a lot. They're going through the ringer. They keep running from you. They don't even know why. And they're like, I'm putting myself first. And you're like, good, that's what you should be doing. <laughs> you're like, take care of yourself or you can't give to anyone else. We have, they're a little too clingy for your taste. So somebody could be very clingy. And this could be what... Uh, turned you off about this person. You were just like, whoa, calm down. You know, chill out. <laughs> you need someone who has their own life. Or this third party was super clingy, like could not like let your person breathe. There's intense chemistry in your connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is probably why this person's clingy because you guys have a bunch of intense chemistry going on. It's hot. All right, so we're gonna do some channel songs from my bag here. Let's see what songs. They might have some more messages for you from this person, these unsent messages. We have Ass Like That by Eminem. <laughs> see you guys, they may really like your derriere. <laughs> I ain't never seen an ass like that. <laughs> Hell yeah, what a good song. Fire one, shake it. You could like to dance with this Queen of Wands here. You have a very, you could be a uh, heavy fire and air in your chart. Pump up the jam by Technotronic, yes. I'm also getting that song, uh, they played it at the event that I worked last night, and uh, it's uh, Technologic, and I can't remember the name, that's the name of the song, I can't remember who does it, but it's so good. It's a Technologic, Technologic, oh my gosh, and it was, uh, that's a banger from back in the day, man, it will always be like... I'm just kissing my mouth, my lips, my hands, and blah. That's a very Italian thing to do. <laughs> Streamers by Wave Racer. That's a good song. Yeah. You could have danced with this person. We have Love Will Be Right Here. Yep. Love will be right here. I don't even have the artist on there. I'm going to have to put that down below when I put the songs on the channel. So. Let's get one more. Fill in this one. School by Blind and Bouquet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is such a good song. 
All right, y'all. I hope this resonated. If it did, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're so called to. If you like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And as always, I'll see you for the next reading. Take care. All right, so if you chose pile number two, this lovely Kuropi sticker, and this is also Gudetama. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, the little egg guy sitting next to him. So let's find out what your person's unsent unsent messages would be to you, what things they have not shared with you, messages they may have typed out but never sent um, or thought about writing to you, right? Okay, so pile number two. This could have been like a friend because this looks like two friends in a bathtub. Uh, it's, it's not actually a bathtub. It's like a little like crate, a little tub crate. They've got a little towel here. That's cute. I love this. This is such a cute sticker. Uh, check out Mickey C. Sierra. Sorry, Mixie Sierra. I'm saying that wrong. God. I said it the first time <laughs> when I came over there. I don't know why because I was just coming up with like her name in my head and I was missing some things. So I was like, Mickey? And she was like, Mixie. And I was like, oh, that's right. Okay. So I did it again. So check out Mixie Sierra. She is amazing. All of her lovely. Uh, all the stickers that I used on my channel today were from her. She's lovely. A wonderful person. I've been with her quite a bit, and uh, so yeah, she's very artistic. So this person could be very artistic as well. They could be into to design. Okay, pile number two. What are the unsent messages? I'm all of a sudden super nervous. Okay, so your person could be really nervous. Uh, King of Wands reversed. Okay, you may want to watch pile number one. Pile number one may resonate with you as well. We have the Knight of Wands, the Temperance card. Okay, so Heavy Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. The Tower, holy crap. Okay, the Nine of Coins and the Two of Cups reversed. We have the Two of Coins. The Knight of Swords reversed. I'm hearing, I don't want to be a player no more. <laughs> I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Oh, yes. This is pretty. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, with this King of Wands reversed, this can be somebody who is very dominant, very uh, aggressive. They can become, trigger warning, violent. Okay, so if you got out of a relationship where this person was abusive, this is coming through here. This could be somebody who has experienced the same abuse when they were younger. This could also be... Uh, Intimate abuse, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to go any further in, uh, into that with this, but uh, what they would like to say is that they're really pissed off at themselves, uh, and they approach this connection as the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands reversed. Okay, yeah. So somebody who has a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot of uh, creativity, they're very driven here. They could be driven by their sexual impulses, and this is something that... Uh, they struggle with uh, on a deep level with temperance here because maybe now they're like, okay, I'm balanced or I know that if I'm imbalanced or I think I'm balanced, that if I come at you with this wand, right, or, you know, take it as it resonates, you know, male or female, or they come at you with the sexual energy um, that, you know, this is like all encompassing too with the tower reversed. And this was somebody who could have been very good in bed. You guys could have had a lot of intimate encounters with this person. You don't have to have had that. If it was just a friend, obviously that wouldn't resonate. But if it's like a past person, like an ex or something, they want to tell you that uh, they thought they were coming at this the right way. They were building and then the tower came in was like bam and then they were single. So then all of a sudden maybe they came to a conclusion that they did want to explore and maybe they weren't able to tell you why they needed to explore all their options here or to invest in themselves with the nine of coins. They decided to take a route that was more, I'm hearing selfish 
and self-centered, but it was one that they needed to do. Uh, it was meant to, to kind of, this connection was meant to dissolve. So if they went for a third party or they were messing around, look, two of cups reversed, they didn't get what they wanted. Those people that were in their lives were, you know, karmics there to teach them a lesson. Uh, this could have been a connection where you had a happy harmony with this person. You guys were possibly looking at, at them as an as an option in a relationship. I'm not sure if you actually were with this person here. Some of you, some of you, you may have been. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly. It's not showing me that yet. But then we have the two of coins. What they would want to tell you is that they juggled and they lost. Okay, so if they looked elsewhere or if they had another situation that was taking precedence in their life that they put over you and it doesn't have to be another person, it could be a situation, that this is why they didn't take action with the Knight of Swords reversed. I don't like that energy. I don't like it at all. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their chart. They didn't know that they were like what they were doing. Like somehow they were like, okay, well, what if I go this route or what if I do this? Or they stayed at a crossroad way too long. And the spirit was like, no more. Bam. The tower came in and they were like, listen, whatever you built is not meant for you. Okay. Whatever you've built up, it's time to look at that. It's time to look at how we approach a relationship. This person may not have had a healthy connection in the past with the two of cups reversed and the six of coins, or sorry, oh yeah, six of coins could be significant. I was about to say the six of cups reversed on the bottom of the deck. This is, this is not good memories, okay? So they've been hurt a lot. They have decided to work on themselves and be single at this time, or they are trying to manifest you back or manifest a connection um, or, or work on themselves, right? With the magician here and the empress, hell yes, I love this. Yeah, with this Knight of Swords, they couldn't make a decision next to the Two of Coins. But somehow Spirit was like, well, this Empress here is going to manifest whatever they want. And uh, the Empress gets a lot of attention. So this person could have been very insecure. They could have been insecure about their body, about uh, their what they had to offer you with this King of Wands. Maybe they knew all they could offer you was a good time, right? Uh, and this is what Maybe they, they were kind of balancing back and forth. Because with the Magician and the Empress, you're very powerful. Very, very powerful. And if it, this, it's this person, this person's powerful as well. They had all the tools in their little toolbox. They just had to take action. And guess what? If they had gotten through their anxieties and their fears and stopped looking at all the fucking cups and listened to their intuition, damn, things could have been different, right? Things definitely could have been different. person's mother could have had a say in this or they consulted their mother about the situation and this person was like well what do you want to do and they were like I don't know right so they could have gone to advice for your connection uh, this person could also this isn't for everyone this isn't for everyone this person could have tried to trap you with a baby or they were trying to get you pregnant, or that's what you were trying to do with this person? One of the two? I can't really tell here. Interesting. Where do I want to go from that? Wow. Heavy energy. Taurus and Libra here. We have Libra twice with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is getting out of our head, working through our, all of our fears, our anxieties stresses but when it's clouded by the seven of cups it literally shows this person maybe they don't have safe connections or they don't know what a safe loving healthy connection is so they stay single they could have uh, been divorced 
or have a child with the Empress here. This could be somebody that you share children with as well. Ex-husband, ex-wife, mother vibes for sure. Getting all scenarios here. Gift. Here's a small token of my love. Okay, so you guys could have exchanged gifts with this person. Ooh, the gift of this was divine timing. So trust in the perfection of divine timing. So trust that whatever this person's doing, you're the empress. And you're like, la, 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 la. Look at me. I'm manifesting what I want. Um, I have a lot of options, which you probably do. Uh, people vying for your attention. Of course they are. This could have made this person very insecure. But you just keep standing in your power. And you're just like, this is, this. whatever needs to happen, you go on your merry little way. Uh, and do what you need to do, and I'm going to be over here standing in my power on my throne. And when you figure out that this is the wrong direction, well, you know, yikes, yikes. It's almost like a, almost a little too late type of vibes here is what I'm getting with this person. Soulmate. You are my soulmate. A dream come true. So this definitely is a soul tie. This was a gift here of divine timing. And if there was a soulmate involved, it was a matter, of, it was a gift to you by the universe because it was in order to teach this person something in order to grow for you. It's almost like, you know, some people change for, for others if they want to. And then others don't. And that's their choice. That's their choice. A dream come true. You are a dream come true. And they believe in divine timing here and that you are a gift. Fatal event. Yeah, the tower. That's the tower. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. Yeah, there's not a whole lot they can say because it looks like they have a lot from their past that needs to be healed. The way they look at relationships is very distorted. And I'm not blaming them, however, because some people grow up that way. They grow up in traumatic situations. All they know is trauma. The tower is always being hit. And they're like, uh-huh, okay, what's next? Uh-huh, okay, what's next? But you guys have leveled up with the Empress here. You've leveled up from this person, too. They're still in the King of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands. No, definitely someone could be from your past. You could have known this person six months, six years. I'm also getting eight because I'm adding the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups with the Eight of Cups. A lot of... A lot of emotions here with the seven of cups this person cries over you they think about you all the time this is ugh, this is like driving them mad rejection oh my god here it is so there could have been some type of rejection in this connection remember rejection is god's protection spirit's protection so yeah Interesting. What else? What are the unsent messages? They do want to send you a message telling you that they are sorry for what they've done. They're afraid that you'll reject them. They're hoping that at some point you guys can reconcile with the gift of divine timing and the Six of Cups reverse. So they're wondering if that is a possibility. The passion is too much. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands reversed. Absolutely, and the Tower. Oh, my goodness. They keep talking about, like, their package, if you know what I mean. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. Yeah, this is a person who, with these, with this Knight of Swords, the Two of Coins, and the Two of Cups reversed, that's holding back emotions. That's holding back telling you something. And maybe they need to tell you that the passion for you is overwhelming for them. Now appealing. Okay, so 
someone could really like your derriere. This really does remind me of Pile One. So you guys may be very connected to Pile One because in Pile One we got uh, we got the divine counterpart to Pile Two. So if you're dealing with, like it says, a soulmate or twin flame or whatever you consider your dynamic, uh, check that out if you were called to it. Teach me, huh? Teach me how to love you the right way so I stop screwing it up. Well, yeah. Because there needs to be more of a connection here. There needs to be less of in our heads about all of the options or the, you know, sexual energy. You know, there needs to, maybe this is what you're asking for. Is more than that. The magician wants the empress. They want to be a, a wife or a husband. They want kids, a family possibly, you know, things like that. Or those are significant factors in the connection. And I keep being drawn to pull like two cards each as we're doing this. Um, here, two and two, and you have the two of cups, even though it's reversed. So look up two, two, two. It's about union. And there's more, of course. hurts seeing you love someone else. Oh. Okay. That's what it is. Peter, Pete, Paul, Pauline, Paula, Priscilla. Some names that are coming through for this person. If you hear your name, that definitely resonates. Princess, Prince, Yeah, so what they would like to send you a message about is that hurts seeing you loving someone else. Ooh, what was I picking up in here? You could have experienced some rejection from this person and they went towards someone else with the soulmate card here. Or you did, vice versa. Take it how it resonates or if after they rejected you you were able to um, find someone else Seth you're giving them everything you promised me ouch ouch yeah well you would be because the empress is here and the empress is the magician the Empress is the one they should have been giving to to begin with, okay? So, uh, yeah, there's definitely heavy energy of this person that's very upset because they see you now not taking action towards them. You're taking action with someone else, and it hurts them, and you're giving them everything that you promised them. Ooh. Okay. So this is something they wanted with you. They wanted a family with you. They wanted to be with you. They wanted to commit to you. Those type of things come up with the Empress, a grounded, stable relationship. And so somebody's very hurt over the fact that you have you have your Empress or Emperor. They've screwed it up quite a bit here at this fatal event and this teach me how to love you. Yeah, they need to love themselves. That's really what it comes down to. You're teaching them about respect, about grounding their energy, about stability, about being the magician. And maybe they were like, well, I'm too stubborn to learn with the king of wands. Like, I'm going to do it my way. Well, what is that? Um, Laverne and Shirley. I'm hearing that song. Yeah, it's like, I'm, we'll be doing it my way. Yes, my way. Make all my dreams come true. Yeah. Excuse my morning voice. <laughs> okay, so what are the messages for Pile 2? I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Absolutely. Spirit is like... Yes, please learn this lesson. 
Don't be a player. If you are, stay single. Don't be gross. Don't be gross. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. They don't know what direction. They don't know their head from their ass is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm so sorry about to. But man, <laughs> had to be said. <laughs> As my mom would say. She would say, they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. I love my mom because every time I start, like, you know, cussing it up or whatever, she gets going and we're both going. And by the end of it, my mom is like a sailor. And I'm like, yes, my work is done here. <laughs> okay, so this person could be quite the... Vocabulary, it could have quite the vocabulary. I was going to say vocabulist. Okay, I'm just making up words there. It's probably not a word, but there it is. That's what I do, people. I make up words and I know things. <laughs> wow. So this is how real love feels like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never get this card. Yeah. They didn't realize that real love is like this and that it's so intense. The passion is so intense intense for you. This is the tower, man. You guys have some really intense chemistry in the bedroom. They keep talking about it. They keep showing me like everything and I'm like, mm -hmm. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for exposing yourself. That's great. <laughs> Say somebody has a towel and just like, <laughs> peekaboo. <laughs> I know how strong you are, yet I feel so protective over you. Oh, yeah. Okay. True. True story. How cute is that? So they do know how strong you are, and they do feel very protective over you and your energy and this connection. And with the Empress, that is strength, right? Temperance, that's strength. That's divine timing as well. So it mimics temperance here with the butterflies on that card. It's such a beautiful card. I'm going to show you all again. You guys could be very Celtic or Greek. And I keep hearing make all our dreams come true. This person wants to make your dreams come true. The heart wants what it wants. <laughs> So does the lower nether regions <laughs> of this pile, okay? Mm, you're saying like you're the best sex they ever had, okay? So if you've been intimate with this person, that is a true story. You have messed them up because they are not going to find anybody like you. Your newfound confidence intimidates them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it should. Oh, I love that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, what are some other messages from this person to the collective for round number two? What other messages? They keep wanting me to do it in twos. I'm not, I'm not allowed. It's like two, 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 two. And you have two, four, six, two, four, six. So you mimic to pile uh, one in the way that I put out the cards here. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes they tell me to do less cards or more, but it was exact. So definitely check that out because there are very similar messages. Beauty. Everything about you is perfect to me. Oh, y'all. Okay, and I think this also was in pile one. So this person finds you to be magnificent. Everything about you is attractive to them. They find you to be perfection. And they may put you on a pedestal with the Empress here. That's probably what's going on is they're overthinking about, oh my God, what can I offer? How can I do this? Uh, this person has so, so many options. They're so confident. Like they make me nervous. So this person gets nervous around you for sure. Or you make this person very you know, ungrounded here is what I'm hearing. I need you to tell me what to do. Dominating number 28. Okay, so 20 or and 28 could be significant here. See, we got two, another two, and you have a two here. 
absolutely very balanced connection or will be balancing out with this temperance here. So it has the ability to grow. Yeah, this person needs to work on their energy. And they're like, please tell me what to do. And some of you are like, hell yeah. <laughs> Put on some heels. They like when you wear heels. Uh, black could be significant or lingerie. I'm gonna keep going. I feel like they need more, but they're like, no, I already gave you two. Okay, let's see what other unsent messages do we have, and then I'll get some advice. Do I want to use this deck? No, I do not. This is humongous. This is my own deck. It is not for sale. Not yet, anyways. I'm working on a design for it as we speak. So, okay, what other unsent messages does call number two have? I can't forgive you. Yeah. Mm. Ouch. So this person has some something to work through when it comes to forgiveness, and maybe that's what uh, is happening, is that this fatal event, you can't forgive this person, and or they want your forgiveness, or they can't forgive you for something. Whoa. Strap in, bitch. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Oh God, oh dear. This person's angry, they are mad. It fell on the floor. It's too late, yeah, it's too late. Someone wants to say that. Ouch. I wasn't honest with you. Yeah, this king of wands reversed, that's a, that can be dishonesty. Lying about, you know, being single. When they were absolutely possibly in a commitment here. I cry over you a lot. So yeah, I was getting that with the seven of cups. Someone who's very sad. I'm not ready to be together yet. Yeah. This person would like to tell you that they're not ready to be together with you yet, and it's because they have some more growing to do. Ooh, man, this is harsh. Really sorry to hear that, y'all. Some of these are just ouchy, so I'm, I don't control the messages. They just come out, so I'm sorry. the advice for pile number two. We have trust the feeling. Your intuition is strong right now. If something doesn't feel right, trust it. No one else can tell you what's right or wrong for you. Okay. This person could like to wear neon. They could like to wear their hair in a bun. Very bold colors. They could wear pink eyeliner pink lipstick. This person has a hot body for sure. Yeah, the Empress. Yeah, trust that feeling. So if something doesn't feel right about this situation, trust it because there is kind of that energy over here where it's like, I can't forgive you. It's too late. I wasn't honest with you. Yeah. And if you're being dishonest here with the Knight of Swords reverse, that's a liar card. It's a manipulator. That's somebody who betrays somebody. Somebody who uses someone else for, you know, their own means to an end. Oh, this person's obsessed with you, addicted to you. So no matter what they say here, it doesn't even matter. It says, is it love, obsession, or infatuation? Ask yourself if you can slow down or not allow thoughts of them to consume you and just let love naturally unfold. Okay, so kind of one, kind of wondering if this is love, love, obsession, or infatuation. Maybe this person isn't sure what this is with the two of cups reversed they're confused 
Um, they're wondering if, like, you've done, like, magic or a spell on them, you know, like, mm, no, you know, you, you're, you're a manifester. I mean, maybe you did. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. It just, it, it seems like you guys are manifesting in your own world, in your own life with the Seven of Cups. Like, if somebody's not going to be ready to be with you, someone else will. So, you know, they could easily lose you, and they think about this all the time. So they're very addicted to you and your energy. All right, pal, so let's get some songs here, some channel songs from my song bag. Okay, we have Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry. Cherries could be significant. Eagles as well, and you could like the eagles. You're Somebody Else by Flora Cash. Getting Flora and Fauna. Family and Genus by Shaky Graves. Mm. Maybe there's a mother here interfering, trying to break up this connection. I'm also getting that. Or interfering using dark magic of their own if they are into that or into ma into magic trying to make someone confused maybe confused about you so protect yourself protect your energy return to senders uh, type of vibes meditations and things like that are very helpful for that or any to break any spells curses etc uh, or evil eye that's sent your way it says, get your freak on by Missy Elliott. Yes. Okay, so this person, yeah. Mm -hmm. They like your freaky side. They may be a little freaky. They love, uh, you know, your guys' times together, if you know what I mean. And they see that you're trying to balance a lot in your life, especially if you're uh, a mother or father or parent. Where have all the cowboys gone by Paula Cole? Somebody's name could be Paula or Cole. Wow, I love that. Interesting. Yeah, so this person uh, could be from the South or be a cowboy. I'm just going to say, cowboys are hot. You know it. I know it. <laughs> So are cowgirls. Running with the boys by light. So this person could have a lot of attention by the other, uh, by like the male, your, the male species. Maybe it's you, of course. Uh, this person has like a group of friends that they hang out with. Some of them could be mainly male. Sounds like me. <laughs> I'd say like 80% of my friends are male. And about the 20% are women, but it's getting bigger on the women's side, so I love that. Sunny Came Home by Sean Colvin. Yes, okay, so somebody's name could be Sean Colvin. We had Cole, Colin. All right, so those are the messages. I hope that it resonated. If it did, like, share, comment, or subscribe to the channel if you're so called to. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And as always, I'll see you for the next reading. Take care. If you chose pile number three, this lovely little witchy, looks like a little Hello Kitty witch. It's so cute from Mixie Sierra. I'll link her information down below. She's very talented, very kind, a wonderful person. So check her out. So let's find out what unsent messages do you have from this person? Uh, what would they have said to you if they could? What did they maybe type out and never send? All right, so we're going to get into the tarot here. We have the 
hermit reversed. Could be dealing with a Virgo, or they could have Virgo in their chart, or you could. We have the Eight of Wands, the Empress reversed. We have the Ten of Swords. The star reversed. The four of coins reversed. The six of wands reversed. The lovers. The fool reversed. Ace of Swords reversed, the King of Coins, and the Ten of Wands reversed. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Okay, interesting. Mm. What they would say or what they communicated already or they're trying to communicate here is that they've been forced to kind of look at the way that they treat feminines in their life and also to look at the divine feminine energy in their own hearts. With the Empress Reverse could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Lovers is Gemini, King of Coins is also Taurus, Capricorn, and Vir yeah, Virgo again. The star reversed is Aquarius, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be, again, in your chart or their chart. How I'm feeling, though? Heavy, sad. What they would tell you is that they feel alone, they feel isolated. They feel like they've been forced to go within. Here's the hermit. This hasn't been easy for them. It's like a dark night of the soul or something about your energy challenges them with the eight of wands. This is fast, quick communication. Could have been fiery or passionate with the empress saying like, I don't want to grow this. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Ten of Swords. What they wanted to tell you is that they didn't feel good about themselves. Maybe a mother figure got involved and told them to end this with you instead of healing it. This person wanted to heal this. They wanted to heal. They felt like you needed to heal. They need to he needed to heal because we needed to see this hermit upright. Yeah. This is being kind of forced uh, into the spotlight. Secrets being exposed. They could have found out something that they thought they knew about you and maybe it was you were unstable, ungrounded, or that's the way they saw you. Or you wanted to tell this person, look, I'm not, I'm not who I am, who I, who you think I am. They wanted to tell you about a past relationship if it ended with a fire sign here or any of the signs mentioned. That they had a choice here in some way. Because they're drawing me from the king of wands over here to the king of coins. And there's lies here with the Ace of Swords reversed and the Fool reversed. And if they came towards you with a lot of passion with the King of Wands, it's like a forbidden or a love that defied time. There could have been two different masculines competing for your attention or competing for this connection. Or involvement of others and this is what caused this 
This is a manipulator with the full reversed Aquarius and Aries. Again, we already have those signs. I love how it always like mimics. That's interesting. This is my liar card though in the Ace of Swords. This is unclear, unclear confusion. This is not seeing things clearly. This is thinking that they're going in the right direction, but the fool reversed is someone who's going to fall off the fucking cliff right to their death. It's legitimately what it is. They don't see the dangers in front of them. They don't see how to protect this connection. They don't know how. They're not sure if they can have any type of victory with the Six of Wands reverse and the lovers here. So you could have had a choice. And for some of you, you decided to end it with everybody involved. Because nobody's matching your energy. You're the Empress reversed, male or female, doesn't matter. You could also be any of these other signs. But at the core of your masculinity is a wound from mother or a uh, feminine and this person is lying to themselves. They may be lying about how much money they have or that they want to be a father or they want to be married or they want this or whatever. No. Mm -mm. Don't believe this person. It's, it's flat out lies. So what they want to tell you is that they're a liar. That they chose wrong. They took the wrong path. They didn't choose to heal this connection. They chose to see it as well, you know, I got to do what I got to do. Ten of Wands are first. Trying to put down these burdens. The Four of Coins reversed. Upright, it can be a card to me of stagnation and lack. When it's reversed like this, it's talking about the fact that there may not be, uh, there's the grounding of this connection is suffering somewhere could be because someone lost their job or they make less money or they're struggling right now with the four of coins. They want to tell you they're struggling. Things are not playing out the way that they thought they were going to. I'm hearing it was a front. So whoever they were showing off or people that they were involved with, it was a masquerade because this person had no intentions with the Empress of committing or bringing this into some type of like balance here. It was like this person was bombarded both sides with people wanting their attention with the Eight of Wands, trying to communicate with them. And they didn't want to communicate with anybody. With this Hermit Reverse, I'm feeling the energy of like withdrawing it to the point that it is over isolation. It is too much time spent alone. And it may not be, it may not be healing the right things with the star reversed. So what do they need to heal? What they need to, what they want to tell you is they desperately would like to know where they stand with you. Do you stand with this king or this king? Do you stand with me or them? And if you're not with me, you're against me. Three. Yeah, this is someone who made a really bad choice with the full reverse. They were lying to themselves. They thought they could go off and have something stable with someone else with the king of coins. Ignore the fact that you were the empress or the emperor or their feelings for you or whatever because there's a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of want to communicate. You could have been have this person blocked or they could have blocked you, one of the two. Is it over? Yeah, this person wonders, is it over with the Ten of Swords? Did I lose you? Did I lose the person that I was meant to be with? Because the empress is the only one touching the lovers over here and the empress is there's distance with the king of wands. This king of coins shows up and has something stable to offer. You were right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You were right. you said about this person you were right 
Yeah, two of coins underneath the king of wands reversed. And it's reversed. Needed to make a decision, made the wrong decision. Maybe cared about their job and their money or overworking or thinking that they're not good enough in some way because that's true. That is a true story here. Even the Empress Reverse is better than the King of Coins Upright or the King of Wands. Yeah, elevation. You're a badass. It says, why can't I move on from you? Yeah, this person's energy is still stuck in your energy. Why can't they move on from you? Well, hold on. You got the lovers here. Significant connection. Not something you can ignore. You have a soul tie with a person here in this pile. It's very strong. Very, very strong. They feel you even though if there's a distance, well, there's emotional, physical, there's a separation. Maybe there's travel involved here with the fool reversed. Somebody could be burnt out with the ten of wands reversed. Working through financial issues. I'm a better person because of you. I feel more optimistic and full of life. You breathe life into this connection and into this person. The way that these lovers are looking at each other, they absolutely adore each other. There's so much love here. Okay, for some of you, this isn't going to resonate, uh, but this is coming through strongly with the Hermit reversed next to the King of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Empress reversed, and the Ten of Swords. Some of you could have suffered like a miscarriage or are unable to have children, and that's why the Empress is reversed. It's not necessarily a financial status. It could be infertility or you struggled with infertility. That's not for everybody, but that is coming through strongly. This person maybe lied to you and didn't and didn't tell you that they saw you as marriage material, but they did. They saw you as these two kings, king of coins and king of wands. And pretty soon you're going to be adding it all in and get the emperor. The kings that were missing. So the king of swords, logic, truth, decisive. That's what we're missing. And the king of cups, emotion. Stability, compassion. You are like an angel that came into my life to heal and nurture me. Duh. Duh. I'm sorry. I'm feeling frustrated with this person. <clears throat> like that's the truth of the situation. Absolutely. The truth this is that it's not is it over no I don't think it's over at all there's 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 competition for your for your affection here too and there's ego somebody's ego got in the way with the six of wands reversed and they wanted to make sure that you didn't move on with someone else so what they would tell you is they were jealous over this king of coins who is giving to you who is trying to lighten your burdens So if you're with someone else, they're jealous of that. Thank you for being there for me when I needed it the most. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords. Somebody really could have had, oh, I'm getting health issues or their mother is sick. Yeah, you are the one and only. He tries to fall out of the deck. So just so you know, you are the one and only. And you don't, like, that's the thing. Worrying about this type of energy, this person's worried, you know, like, do you still want me? You know, is it over? Can we have victory? You know, is there someone else? Are you lying to me about someone else? Or lying to me about who, you're, who you are? We both need a time to heal. So it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to say we both need time to heal. But yeah, definitely. So right now it's a period of incubation, of healing, going into the hermit mode, but in an upright 
way to heal this with the star reversed to heal this connection. Healing yourselves. And then possibly figuring out if you can come back together. Man, this deck is... I got this all whacked out in here, how I shuffled. This was terrible. No wonder. I was like, why are all these cards upright? And see, this is like upside down and right side out. And it's it's all over the place in the deck. So you and this person, there's a lot of confusion here. A lot going on. So much that, so that it's probably really driving y'all bonkers. No wonder you're here. You're like, what would they say to me? Because they're not, if they're not speaking to you, or if you haven't spoken with this person in a while, there's a lot they would say. But it's jumbled. Let's see if I can get this deck back in order real quick. And then we'll try again. Okay, wow. <sighs> you see it? I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> I just saw I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. So this person, absolutely, if you're wondering if they love you, they do. I saw second chances, so they would like a second chance with you. See if you guys could work this out. Is it really over? Are you really over them? And let's see who you should choose. Like, I feel like if this is a choice, I'm going to go into that. It's not going to be for everybody. So stick around for that at the end if you would like to know. I'm going to do that poll, but you don't have to stay for that. Okay, see? Back together, okay? All back together. So things could be working out in this connection. This person wants to know if you would accept them back. I never expected to fall in love. <laughs> Mm, mm. Pile number three. This person never expected to feel the way they feel for you and to fall for you the way that they have. Karmic connection. Moving from the patterns. Okay. So there could be a karmic connection involved here. And this doesn't have to be... Uh, another person be a situation. These are patterns. Things are meant to learn. Karmic cycles. Okay, so moving on from these patterns. So not repeating patterns of this full reverse and this ace of swords where they leap before they look and they lie and I'm also getting possibly like people around them lie so this could be like someone above them like a boss as well. that could be lying about something or someone telling them, oh my God, this person's still with this person or this person's still talking to that person and it's not true. It could be a friend that's like trying to infiltrate this connection. So that is where that karmic connection could come in. I'm also getting for some of you that this is a same sex uh, situation. So your person could be hiding uh, that they are bisexual or that they are gay. That's not for everybody. You're so cold, this silence is killing me. <clears throat> yeah. So you may have had this person blocked for a while. Uh, this person's name is Spike up here, so Spike could be significant. That's interesting. Samantha, Sam, Sammy, Samuel, Sally, Silas. I'm also getting Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So uh, that's Michelle, uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. Yeah. So they feel like you're an iceberg. You're very cold. The silence between the two of you is, is quite hard for them to deal with right now. So that's what they would say to you. I should have spent more time listening to you. Oh, yes, you should have. Yes, you absolutely should have. I'm sure you communicate with this person many times about the situation, about what was going on, about wanting to move on, about how unhappy you were, if you were very unhappy in the situation. And it says this came from Pedro, so somebody 
Uh, somebody's name could be Pedro, Peter, Paul, Penelope, Paula. We had Paula and one of the other Pauls too. Your favorite color could be purple or like a teal blue. <laughs> Our chemistry was primal with the eight of wands here and the king of wands. Yes. Okay. Somebody's name could be Genesis or you could be religious. This person could be religious. I'm getting Gina, Janae, Jean, George, Jeannie. Jenna, did I say Janae? I'm getting Janae. Your jeans, like, like when you wear jeans, but also your ancestry, like this chemistry was primal. There's like a big old line with its mouth open. So it could be a Leo, especially with that King of Wands. Uh, so your chemistry between the two of you is off the charts. They'd like to say that. They're always drawn to you. They want to communicate with you quite a bit if you are in communication but of course this is someone who would like to blow up your inbox but probably doesn't right <laughs> or maybe they do maybe they get a little crazy with it who knows <laughs> okay let's get some more messages unsent messages yeah this person's in love with you okay Maybe they are doing like ancestry to figure some things out as well. The genograms are very interesting. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, I can kind of tell you how I did mine. You can look it up online. It's it's very, very uh, enlightening. <laughs> it says no one compares. Yes. And that was a totally different deck that I was seeing that from, the one that got all messy, right? So the situation could have gotten very messy. But it says, no matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. So it doesn't matter where this person goes, no matter where they are. It's like no one compares to you. You are ideal for them. Uh, it says, I'm sorry. This person would like to say, I'm sorry. It says, I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. Yeah, I could cry. Your person's cried over you. If you wondered if this person's cried over you, not that we see a bunch of emotions, although the star is reversed here. Yeah, they have. They absolutely have. Showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what's happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. Yeah, with this king of wands kind of standing in their power. It's a very tribal vibe here, so you could uh, live in a tribal land or live overseas. In a tropical environment getting New Guinea uh, behind him it looks like pyramids so Egypt Giza Gaza this person's acting like they don't care but they care they're sorry and no one compares to you so boom and nobody would this is correct these people are coming at you as kings which is not a bad thing okay this is a good thing however where's the Emperor Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You guys could resonate with Lilith or uh, different gods and goddesses that you uh, pray to. I'm hearing altar. They feel like they're out of your league. Mm. Listen, I think you're out of their league. So if they've said the opposite, it literally is that, okay? This person thinks very highly of themselves with uh, the Empress, or even the Empress reversed, okay? So there's the ego here with the Six of Wands reversed. This person may be like, well, I know I'm hot shit, so okay, whatever. Uh, or it could be like the opposite where they're like, oh my gosh, this person's too good for me. I can't believe, you know, like they'd want to be with me. This is a trap. This is not real. Like I'm just lying to myself. They're lying to me. Ugh. A lot of anxiety here. They want you to take charge and set the pace. Okay, yeah, so the Empress is reversed. So even so, taking charge, setting the pace in this connection. 
with the full reverse and the ace of swords maybe they want to know how you feel about them before they'll offer this this coin here the stability with this king of coins they feel a deep connection with you mm -hmm. yeah the lovers is here duh and i'm gonna go with this the choice even though i'm gonna get a little more information is the lovers here on this side there the truth is is that this king of coins has already been let go if um, or will be let go the empress is tied to the lovers the lovers is over here closer to the king of wands it is separated they're telling me there's more distance over here this is the what's passing and moving forward and ending with this ten of swords and this connection is what is actually um, the empress is actually going to be torn turned towards and the lovers is closer to this king of wands and they keep showing me from the lovers to the king of wands so it's like a draw with my eyes they keep moving it like a line so interesting Of holding on it hurts to let go but sometimes it hurts more to hold on so this person is still holding on to your connection you still have hope here they have it they're still questioning though is it over but they're like I'm still holding on to it I'm still holding on to you I still see you as you know my everything and I they feel like they've hurt their Empress their person, right? Divine timing. Trust in the perfection of divine timing. Okay, so everything kind of lining up, having its own season. There could have been some separations that are going on between you and this person, an in and out type of vibe with the Six of Wands. We have I'm so sorry, pal number three, this, uh, the video cut off as I was doing this. So uh, the last card was perfect match um, and more cards came out and I already got to songs and stuff. So, and I literally got up there and I was like, why is the camera off? <laughs> so I'm using a new system. So I apologize. So it says perfect match. We are a perfect match. The reason why our fire burns so hot. So it definitely could be fire signs here, two fiery energies. Yeah, so you guys are the perfect match for each other. This lovers confirms that here. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we have uh, guarded. I want to let you in. I just don't know how to. So this person could be very guarded. You could be very guarded against this connection. I'm getting out with the Empress and the Ten of Wands. And what they would like to say is that they just desperately want to let you in with this Ten of Wands, but they're afraid. They're afraid that you will judge them for the truths that they have to tell you or the things that they have done. Maybe it was in the name of pursuing material things with that King of Coins. We have awkward, and this is awkward because, <laughs> so weird. I put on this uh, maroon hoodie and I've had it on, you know, often on the, the past two days and this literally has a maroon hoodie in the background and it's almost identical to the one that I'm wearing so it really creeps me out because I'm like oh my god am I awkward yeah probably okay so this person uh, may act awkward around you and they don't know how to act they may just say things okay sometimes the things that they say just hurt or they are not exactly who they are because they could be kind of masquerading here we have uproar let's cause some chaos this person doesn't care or they will get to the point where they don't care about what other people think about this connection they're willing to risk it all with you uh, to have uh, this connection so they want they know that like this would cause some chaos your person likes to possibly go to the gym or work out this uh, masculine has a very uh, uh, chiseled physique muscular physique and at the bottom of the deck we have reconciliation so this person wants a reconciliation with you an unsent message would be that they want to be back in your life or you to be back in their life 
It says, seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. Of course it is. Absolutely. Even on her worst day, which is the Empress kind of feeling like on her worst day, right? Or your worst day, you know, no matter the gender, you're still badass. Okay. We have unconventional love. So the different kind of love may not be socially accepted, but don't be afraid to break free and follow your own rhythm to stay true to yourself. So yes, this could be a same sex connection and you could be worried about what other people think. This person may want to tell you a truth about that, how maybe they are attracted to other masculines. Maybe you already know this and you're aware of it. Something about this may be unconventional and you could be worried about the opinions of others we have goddess vibes yes even with that empress reverse i'm seeing this it says don't be afraid to be different allow your inner goddess to radiate after you meet her you'll never be the same honor the divine feminine this is where this person needs to honor the divine feminine in themselves this is how it relates to them having like a mother wound or uh, they're projecting this the way that their mother treats them onto the feminines in their life they could be suppressing their own feminine energy or there could be an overabundance of this uh, in this connection. And this could be uh, why, you know, they feel like they're attracted to uh, someone of the same sex and it's honoring this divine feminine. So it's learning to heal the past wounds that have happened within, you know, other connections that didn't work out and stop projecting them onto this connection is what I'm getting because that could be really holding your person back with this dark night of the soul type of energy. Uh, and what I have here, it says I'm going through a spiritual awakening. So yeah, your person with the hermit reverse may be very much being forced within, forced to take some time alone, forced to reconcile their divine feminine and how they treat other feminines. Okay, there's something about that that is not okay, all right? And this person knows that, right? And they're being asked to honor you, like the divine masculine, the divine feminine, they lift each other up, they hold each other up, they help each other grow. They're meant to spiritually, uh, maybe even have like businesses or you know make money or grow uh, in certain ways when they uh, embrace both of these uh, energies, right? And they balance them within themselves. Then they can give to each other. You know, and sometimes you're going to be yin, sometimes you're going to be yang. And your person, you know, and that's where the balance comes in, learning to balance things out. A very temperance type of energy here. It says, I chose wrong. Well, yeah, you did. Absolutely. You chose wrong, especially if they didn't choose you. That's what I'm getting. Or if they chose to pursue the 3D life, the money, the sex, the drugs, the rock and roll, the bullshit, right? Yeah, okay. Go be in your 20s then. If you're in your 20s, go have fun with that. If you want to do that further on, well, then do that. Be honest about it, okay? But now Spirit is saying, yeah, no, you did choose wrong. You didn't go within. You didn't actually see the value in this other person or in yourself. So, of course, you went for someone who probably had no boundaries, no values. They didn't have any self-respect. And you guys are not like that. Or you're working on becoming the opposite of that. And this person may not have seen you clearly with the Empress reversed. Our love languages are different. I feel like somebody approached you and you were like, no, go back um, next. Or you were like, try again. Yeah, our love languages are different. So for some of you, this could be, you know, where your love language does not mirror your person's. And that could be what they may want to tell you. Maybe they're more of um, not able to accept gifts or... Maybe it's hard for them to give because they're so used to being uh, taking care of themselves or having to, you know, struggle to make money or to stay in their power with the king of coins. So they don't want to lose you. Yes, this person does not want to lose you. And we have, I'm ready to tell you everything, vulnerable number 28. This person would like to be vulnerable with you in order to help this connection grow. And they're getting ready to tell you these things because authenticity and truth and honesty are what you're looking for. You're not willing to settle for less. The Empress Reverse is like, I'd be settling with you. If you're not willing to grow, if you're not willing to see your own truth, if you're not willing to look at the things that you're doing wrong in your life like I'm doing, then this cannot grow. 
we cannot grow. Some of you could have struggled with infertility here or uh, you are getting older. That's also what I'm getting here. And we have fiery, number 35. So yeah, you're very fiery. It says you make my temperature rise or temperize. Yeah, exactly. This person could like when you wear heels, like flowy outfits, your hair in a ponytail. Yeah, so everything about you screams like they want to just rush towards you with that king of wands, you know, because you are that person that just drives them wild. They're very attracted to you. And at the bottom of this deck, we have it's okay. Pain is a part of growing. Don't numb the pain. It's okay to allow yourself to feel emotions so you can start your healing journey. Yeah, so right now you may be going through this spiritual awakening along with your person and uh, or you, you know that they're going through a hard time and you can feel their pain with this lover's card. So a lot of you, you are dealing with a divine counterpart type of situation or a soul connection and spirit is asking you to try not to numb out that pain, um, to feel your emotions, to work through them and to heal them and begin or continue your healing journey. And this person needs to do the same. Yeah, that's definitely your advice here. Um, I already pulled some songs uh, when it cut off, so I'm going to tell you what those were. We have American Baby by Dave Matthews Band. So somebody's name could be Dave, Matt, or Matthew. Somebody could call you Baby. We have Checkmate by Julia Wolf. So somebody's name could be Julia, or they could be like a lone wolf here. Somebody could like to play chess. The black and white pieces on our chessboard are very yin and yang, so this is definitely that. A lot of love by life. What a good song. This person loves you so much, and they never expect it to feel this way for you, or that they would, it would hurt so bad to, at the thought of losing you, or if they have lost you. Like, it's, it's feeling very, uh, very much like they made the wrong choice, and the consequences of those actions could be the fact that you were done with them. We have Roadside by Rise Against. And we have Bad Habit by Steve Lacey. Oh my God, this is so interesting. Somebody's name could be Steve. Okay, what else? All right, I hope that that resonated. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And as always, I will see you for the next reading. Take care.